Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. Once again, I'm doing a good podcast here at about almost three o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning. I want to talk about the um, the city of Beirut, uh, Beirut, uh, Be- uh, Beirut, Lebanon. Now they had a blast, um, like a big explosion. It's like TNT to uh, atomic bomb or something like that. Something like that. Anyway, a big explosion happened. Uh, last week, last week that would be August fourth. August fourth, big explosion ha- rocked that uh, rocked the uh, city, uh, Beirut, Lebanon, and they're having protesters there at this very uh, in the last few days or so. Um, they don't like they don't like the leaders there. Uh, they really everybody just left town. Everybody just left. <laughs> all of a sudden they just left town. Everybody in that city just left town. They're probably going to go to the United States and Canada. Uh, there's no way they can um, how do you say rebuild the city again. Uh, uh, far as I know, I, I'm just sensing this right now. Um, there's no way that the Beirut's going to be ever uh, ever have a city like that again. Uh, it was it was like atomic bomb just went off last week um, in a big way. Uh, so there, so we're seeing it from CNN's vantage point and a lot of amateur videos and stuff. It was it just it it was like a it was like a volcano that erupted. Uh, it was that earth shattering. Uh, it was like an earthquake happening to you name it. It was just. The foundation on the ground was kind of you, it went like that. It went really, really like a big, loud, booming sound thing. Uh, it wasn't from vehicles or anything. It was from a big, huge. I, I, for me, I just thought it was coming from a storage thing. You know, sometimes when they have storage, uh, we call those things those big, huge storage things at the ports uh, that they put them on. Uh, sometimes when they uh, put stuff there. Uh, they they mentioned the thing that they had there. I forget what it's called, but um, some very explosive substance. Let's put it that way. Um, that made near the port areas. Uh, this is way close to the ocean areas. Um, it just did a big, huge. You know, it's like a TNT thing went off. Uh, not to laugh about it, folks. It was just. It was like atomic bomb. This. It went, it went like it really shook the foundation of the ground and the buildings. It was so people got so much rattled. Um, it was really from amateur videos, as far as I saw it, um, it was really <laughs> earth shattering. The least to the least expected kind of thing. Uh, it was earth shattering for those people. So it's in uh, Beirut, Lebanon. That that's where the city is. Um, that's where it happened, where the ports were. Uh, big explosion. It was like earth shattering for anybody. Um, so it real rattled everybody. Really rattled everybody. I'm not just kidding, folks. That's uh, uh, really when those things start to happen. They they people equate to it with uh, volcanoes. Doesn't go off very often, but when it does, it's really uh, it's kind of exploding kind of thing. But this was no uh, volcano uh, or anything like that. It was just a big explosion. Uh, that it's like if you were to put TNT stuff in it, that's the explosion. Uh, it went off like a big, big humongous bang. Uh, it really, uh, <laughs> it, now, now I, I, I said to myself, maybe because of 9-11. Uh, now, I'm hammering on 9-11 because it's 19 years ago, and I kid you not, folks. It's 19 years ago, this coming September, that 9-11 did happen in 2001. We're now, we're now in the year, uh, I'll tell you this much, people, we're in the year 2020, and everybody knows that 9-11 happened in 2001. Everybody on the planet knows 9-11 did happen. We are not, uh, we're not lying about it. We're not saying that we saw it or anything. Everybody in the world saw 9-11. Uh, I mean, if you watch it on TV, if you're uh, living near close to New York City, where the Bronx are, uh, the, where the cities were. Uh, it was near, it was essentially near, you know, I'll, I won't tell you that much. You people probably saw it uh, either on TV or you're living down in New York City. 
9-11 did, um, was a bad thing. It was a bad thing, nonetheless. Anyway, this is what I'm not talking about. I'm talking about Lebanon. Um, Beirut, Lebanon. It was just one of those style 9-11 kind of things. It felt like that. Um, but this was 19 years ago. This was, <laughs> so you can tell, this is a country in Beirut, Lebanon. That's where this thing uh, happened. This whole humongous explosion happened. Uh, it wasn't a volcano. It wasn't a big volcano. I, I can't even pronounce it properly, for heaven's sake. Uh, but no, there's no big volcanoes that would erupt uh, for a hundred years or anything. But it was just a big explosion. Uh, they sent the substance that was there. Um, but it really rocked the foundation of that uh, that city. It really did. It just big explosion. Like uh, it just uh, it kind of. It kind of really, really got everybody, uh, really, uh, so it was a week of that. And uh, here we are in, uh, what, uh, August 10th? Um, and now they're having protest about it. So the leaders in that city, uh, um, Beirut, Lebanon, they all left. They simply just left the city. Uh, they're not going to stay there. They know they're going to have protesters. They're going to clash with one another. Um, so I'm just going to say to the people down there, just do what you have to do. Uh, protests that don't make it worse than it already is. Uh, I think the city is not going to get it back on its feet. Uh, um, I'm sorry to say, I don't know you guys are going to cry about it, but no. Uh, in my estimation, no. The city was already in shambles already due to its pandemic, to a lot of bunch of things. So it's not going to, how do you say, rebuilt and relive again. Um, it's going to take a while. It's going to pretty much take a while for Beirut. Uh, this is my perspective on it. Um, it's just, they're not going to have a city. They're not going to have a city. And I don't want to be the one to say this, but uh, it's going to take a long time for that country to be on its feet. They're having protesting as we speak at this moment. This, uh, I'm talking to you guys around 2 o'clock in the morning on this podcast. 2 o'clock a.m. in the morning. Uh, sometime in Eastern Standard Time. And uh, this is really middle of the night. This is like witching hour. This is like, if it was 3 o'clock in the morning, it's like that witching hour. Uh, when anything could happen, will happen. Um, middle of the night. But anyway, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about the Beirut and Lebanon. That, that's where the event happened. And people are in, uh, really upset with the whole thing. Uh, they're doing protesting going on down there. I just want to, it's really hard for me to say because I don't, I don't want to really say to you guys that uh, you guys need help or anything, uh, but I know I know you guys do. But um, they do it in different uh, different ways. I'm um, getting those people to help in that in that city of theirs, um, usually through donations, fund me pages, to you name it. Uh, the country itself is not going to get back on its feet. It's going to take a long time. I mean, long, long time. Those buildings are going to be. They were destroyed. You can see from the camera angles. They were, those buildings were definitely destroyed. Uh, it's going to be a long time for anybody to have a house place to live and really, really, and start essentially starting over again kind of thing, if you know what I mean. It's it's horrendous. It's very much horrendous. They had a good lifestyle until all this uh, thing happened last week. Um, they had a perfect life. All of a sudden, boom, out of nowhere, big explosion happened. Um but yeah, the city itself, no. Uh, they're having protesting down there, and uh, it's sad to see, I kid you not, it's sad to see, but the only, uh, and the leaders in that air, in that city are left the, left the city. They totally left the city, because they don't want to deal with all this uh, nonsense. Anyway, that's my view on it. I just want to really put my two cents, not really, I'm not going it, to, it's tough for me to say very much about it. Um, cause you don't know really much. I'll, I only know a few things about it. I saw amateur video. I saw uh, the newscast videos and stuff. I think it was horrendous. Uh, when I first saw the amateur video, it looked like a big explosion, like really TNT kind of thing. Explosion kind of thing. Uh, it just, it blew out everything down in the ports area. Um, so there you go, folks. And, uh, 
We just want to say to all those people who have lost their lives and had a big explosion, I want to say rest in peace. I want to say it in a nice way. Uh, it was horrendous. Uh, we just saw it through, I just saw it through uh, amateur videos of people who have cameras, you know, like iPhones and stuff. Um, the amateur videos did show what would happen there. Uh, it rocked. <laughs> it really rocked the foundation of that city. It was horrendous, people. It was really horrendous. Uh, but yeah, um, but I just want to put a video out there, that's all, and uh, if it means anything to you people out there, uh, I'm really sorry that you people had that happen to your city there, uh, with all the pandemic that's happening around the, nowadays. Uh, I myself, um, it, it just it felt, when it, when it first happened in the, uh, in the amateur videos, I just felt like it was like an, kind of like an, how do you say it, like a 9-11 style, you know, explosion kind of thing. Uh, but only only this time it's not with buildings it's with with you know explosions um uh, but yeah uh but yeah it was sad nonetheless um yeah, so like i said folks i'm just saying for you people out there i mean it's very sad we saw in the videos we saw tons of them and uh <laughs> when i saw the amateur video I, 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 my first thought was saying yikes kind of thing uh, so uh, it was just uh, really, really sad to see. I didn't cry about it, but it was really sad for those people there. Uh, so uh, their lives will be altered, and I'm not kidding. It'll take a while, it'll take a while, but uh, a city like that, I think it's, I don't know, I don't know. Um, th they would probably do it through uh, donations and uh, fund me pages, whatever they need to do, I guess. Um, Canada will definitely help help out um i'm pretty sure but yeah through fund me pages as people would do on social media fund me pages to donations they'll probably help out with the with those people there that's pretty much uh that they're going to try and do um but yeah that's pretty much it but other than that i think us canadians are going to help out the best we could uh, they're probably going to set up a gofundme pages and uh donations and that's all probably that money could probably go down to um <laughs> Beirut and Lebanon. Uh, it was just strange. It was like, it, it really was strange. It, it was it was like a 9-11 to a 1940s uh, war-style war explosion. Uh, so it was really, it really, I'm not kidding you, it rocked everybody's world. I mean, in a big way. Uh, it rocked the foundation of buildings, uh, the ground, everything. Uh, it just uh, tore everybody apart. Um, but I want to wish those people who are still alive today and lived through that, uh, we wish you well. And, um, and that's all I got to say. I just want to say about what I saw. Uh, I, I didn't want to really spawn, uh, respond to this at first. I kind of waited for a week and stuff. Um, so what I would say to those people, uh, at the moment, we're still August 10th, week, uh, it was a week ago, around, I would say August 4th. I don't know, it was morning or afternoon, but yeah, it was a big explosion. Uh, it was like a TNT kind of explosion. Uh, it really, really, you can tell how, <laughs> from the amateur video I saw out of it. But yeah, it was really, really terrible, terrible. Lucky it didn't happen in the United States or Canada, and uh, thank God for that. But it can happen anywhere, so some people would say. Yeah, it really would, but uh, thank God that... Uh, uh, some of those people uh, were living away from the explosion. Um, from the uh, this uh, now the location that this happened is where the ports are. Uh, that's near the lake areas. Um, and yeah, just big explosion. It went to small, little small uh, fires per se, and then all of a sudden, psh, and went like that really fast, like a like a fast reaction of the explosion thing. Uh, so it really, it, it just, uh, I was stunned. I was stunned by what I saw on the amateur videos. So anyway, we'll pray for those people who are still, still alive. Uh, but the people who passed away, rest in peace. That's all I got to say for you people. And, uh, yeah, my heart will, will definitely go out to you people out there in, uh, Beirut, Lebanon. And, um, stay strong people. And just do a GoFundMe page. Just People in Lebanon, just do a GoFundMe page for the city and uh, 
and uh, donations. Donations be grateful. I'm not going to send you people to a website. You guys got to go develop the websites. Um, and uh, yeah, that's what people do in a time like that. Uh, we're saying to go do GoFundMe pages, get the nations going, uh, help out with the money, and they're going to need a lot of money. Uh, sometimes the federal federal people will help you out as well, so don't worry there. Um, but whatever they do, what they have to do, it's just right now the protesters are there at this very moment this weekend. Uh, they're they're trying to. Uh, they're just protesters there. They're a really havoc, if you understand that. Uh, so <laughs> you don't want to be down there, I'll tell you that much. Um, so, yeah, they're really having havoc down there. And, um, yeah, so we pray for those people who are still alive today. And that's my, not my rant, but just a little saying that we we give thanks to the Lord out there who the people are still alive and the people who passed away. Rest in peace for the Lord above. And, uh, yeah. So there you go, folks.